Hey guys, Mr. D here. Uh, so today what we're going to be working on is I'm going to show you how to draw this simple sombrero. Okay, so uh, May is the month of Cinco de Mayo, and I figured, man, this would be kind of a cool project for us to go through. Okay, so what we're going to need is our piece of paper, and let's have it lie down where it is horizontal. Okay, and we're going to need some something to draw with and something to color with. Okay. So what I like to do first is uh, this line right here, where it looks like almost like an upside down U or a really narrow rainbow line. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that part first. So I try to find the middle of the paper right here, and then what I'm gonna do, just gonna go up and then come down like that and have them be kind of parallel with each other, okay? Then I'm gonna go about halfway right here and then I'm gonna go do this line. This is, and I'm gonna take my time with it. Go around, go around, go around. And then I'm gonna try and find where I started right about there, okay? So this line is super important, okay? I say just take your time with it. If you need to, watch me do it a few times and then try it. Okay, this next part is really important, this line right here. This line, we wanna make sure it's a curved line. So let's go ahead and try that. Curve it and then connect it, okay? And then we're gonna do that same line again, just a little higher, like that. All right, and I like adding some emphasis lines, so one right there, maybe a couple around it like this, just like that. And there's the sombrero, pretty easy, right? Okay, now I'm gonna color it yellow, but I wanna show you a little trick that I like doing is leaving the middle white. And that's gonna allow me to have a highlight. Highlights are really important in drawing in that it shows, it helps show um, three-dimensionality. So it almost helps it show a curve. Now if all of it was just a straight up, just yellow, one single tone, it wouldn't look as round, it would look kind of flat, okay? In this next part, I'm just going to go ahead and just color it back and forth like this. Something super easy. Over here, I'm going to try and do the same thing. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave some white right here. Kind of skip over that. And go around like this. Just like that. Okay. Oh, and there is one really important thing I forgot. In the middle, I wanted to do a little pattern. And a pattern basically is, you know, when one or two things are alternating or it's like back and forth, back and forth. Like this one, I have XO, 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 XO. Or some patterns kind of go like this where it could be, you know, star, circle, or triangle, square, or one, two. It could be numbers. It could even be happy faces and smiley faces, right? So a whole lot of different things you can use for patterns. But to keep it simple, I'm just gonna do the XOXO. So X O X O X O X O. Just like that. Whoop. Let me fix that. All right, and in the middle, I'm gonna make it red. I'm gonna keep that same trick I was showing y'all earlier of trying to uh, not color all of it. Kind of keeping it white right there to make it look more round. And there we go. And there is our sombrero. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. All right, please uh, let me know what you think, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.